If you're someone who uses an Android phone and you have friends or family members who likely use iPhones, you probably know all about the whole blue bubble, green bubble thing. I think even people that don't deal with it, like I don't deal with it too often uh, on a daily basis, still know all about the whole green bubble, blue bubble thing. And it comes down to iMessage on iPhones and that being a problem when Android users send their SMS, MMS texts in the midst of an iMessage thread. And I'm not going to get into all the reasons why that needs to be corrected or how it could be corrected and why I think Apple should do something to correct it because that's a whole different video. But there are other companies that are trying to fix and mend this problem, this messaging problem that mainly just exists here in the US. And Beeper is one of those companies. And though their software is invite only for the time being right now, I got my invite. I got it installed on my phone and I actually went ahead and tried the Chrome OS install as well. And guess what? It works really, really well. So I want to show you what it looks like to be able to send and receive iMessages natively on your Chromebook. So a quick bit about Beeper. Um, I don't know much about them as a company, to be honest with you. I've heard about them for a while. They've been around for over a year at this point. And their main selling point is, hey, we've put together all of your messaging platforms into one thing, uh, which is kind of nice, I guess, if, if you're looking for something like that. But their main thing is they are offering iMessage to Android users and, you know, Windows users and, and different OSs can, you know, take advantage of, of iMessage. And while I don't think most Android users or Chrome OS users really want to use iMessage as a daily driving messaging platform, I know, I know that I don't. Uh, it would be nice uh, when when it's necessary to be able to use and, and answer and respond to iMessages when you need to. And so for me, that's what Beeper comes down to. Yes, it has the ability to basically take all of your stuff and put it in one place. So if you look at, uh, let's go to Beeper's website real quick. Um, you can pull in, you can see right there, all your chats in one app. That's kind of their, their shtick. And you know, I, I was able to go through and set up, I'm gonna kind of show you some of this stuff here in a second, but set up WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, you can add Twitter messaging, Slack, Discord, um, iMessage, obviously your SMS, uh, text messaging stuff and Google RCS chat. That's they're kind of working through all the kinks there. And for each one, it's no different than like say WhatsApp. I want to add WhatsApp to my Chromebook. There's a you know you scan and add it as a device that can kind of receive and send WhatsApp messages. So for most of your messaging setups, it's it's a hub in that way. You know you you log into those things and you say yeah I want to give Beeper permission to send and receive those those messages. And that stuff works fine. In general, let me open up my beeper window here. In general, you know, it works like you would think. So I've got this here and it's just one big thread showing me all these contacts that are, you know, sending me messages. And basically I can click into any of these. So I'm clicking into Joe uh, and that's uh, uh, WhatsApp uh, message there with Joe. I can send and receive that. But for me, that's that's not really the point. Uh, I don't want all my messages crammed into one app. It, it gets a little confusing, frankly. And you know, they do a good job with these little icons down the side, kind of showing you where the message came from. But I find this to be a little bit overwhelming. And what we really wanted to show you today is, uh, you know, the fact that iMessage works the way that they're saying it does. Now, I do want to put a quick caveat on this. In order for this to work, this means that your iCloud Apple account has to be signed in on an Apple device somewhere. So you, I have an iPad here on the table with me, but you don't even have to have an iPad. You just need an iCloud account or an Apple account of some sort, and you can log in and do this. What that means is that even though Beeper is saying everything's encrypted on both sides and they can't read any of your messages and nobody else can read your messages, your account's being logged in on a Mac mini or something like that somewhere on a server rack. And if you're uncomfortable with that, I would say this isn't for you. But, you know, for me, when I look at it, I'm like, well, I have to trust at the end of the day that WhatsApp and Facebook and Twitter and Gmail and basically any other messaging app are doing what they say they do. So they're encrypting things where they can't see it. I have to trust them with that because even though it may not be living on a Mac mini somewhere on a server deck, it's living on a server somewhere. Those messages are. And so I just have to trust and, and you have to decide whether or not you trust uh, Beeper with your information that way. Now, again, everything seems to be well encrypted, but at the end of the day, you've got to trust that because there's no way for iMessage to work apart from an Apple device. So it's not like there's a service in the cloud that works or else this wouldn't even be a problem to begin with. And so 
I, I did want to put that out there before anybody goes and tries this. And if you do manage to get an invite uh, and, and want to try this out, you need to know that going in, that you're, you're going to go through and sign in and kind of be up and running. And once you are, you need to know where your information is kind of going through. But I did want to show you this actually working because you basically can go, um, let me pull up this here. You go to download uh, or beeper.com forward slash download, choose Chrome OS and boom, right there, there is one script. So you do have to, in order to get the setup process, if you don't want to mess with the Windows machine or Apple or uh, any of that stuff, you do need to uh, enable Linux apps uh, on your Chromebook, which is, we're not doing a full like how to tutorial here, here because I got to sign into a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and because this isn't fully rolled out yet, this all could change uh, and some of these steps might change by the time this is like publicly available. So we didn't really want to make this a full how-to video. But if you go down here to the developer section in your settings, Linux development environment, if you didn't have it turned on already, there'd be a button here to enable it. I can go in here and, and make some changes to my settings. But once you do that, it takes a couple minutes, it turns itself on. Uh, and then you have the Linux environment available. Once you do, if you go down here and just uh, search for terminal, you'll see right there, there's your terminal. And um, once you go in there, click into your terminal, you're just gonna paste in what they gave you here. So you take this entire thing and paste it in like that, hit return. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done that. And after like two minutes, the, the beeper app will uh, pop up, the desktop application. Now it's not, uh, installed necessarily so uh, it's it's not something you're gonna come back to and use on a regular basis that's why we'll talk about the Android app here on the Chromebook in just a second but basically that'll get you started so it'll give you all the things you choose which which things you want to sign into and so for me you know I did whatsapp and uh, my messages and obviously I did iMessage but after this video is done because I just wanted to show you that you know it does it does actually have all of your apps or all of your your chat apps in here if you want them so like again I've got Discord going here. I've got WhatsApp. Um, those are the main things I talk in. So that's what you're going to see most of. Yeah, Discord, WhatsApp, and then iMessage up here at the top. Once you have all those things installed, you can leave them if you want. I'm going to go take all of them off and basically let Beeper just be my iMessage client for my Chromebook when I need it because I don't need it that often. Most of the time, the messages that come to me with iMessage, it's fine. It's a one-on-one -on -one text thread. It's not a big deal. Like I, we're not. I'm not using it as my main messenger, but. I mean, if you really wanted to lean into it with some of your iPhone toting friends, you could do that here. And so what I've brought in here is a, a friend of mine, a, a former colleague, and she's an iPhone user. And so uh, I just prompted her and asked her if, if you know, we're going to be filming. Can I can I ping you? Because I want to show you that this is working. Like it's, it's fully functional. So I've got the Beeper chat here. I've got the iMessage chat here. And then I've got Beeper also pulled up on my Android phone. And so it feels a bit like Wolf from uh, The Office, uh, if you get that reference. And so she is waiting for me. So I'm gonna say, yes, and do you mind? I'm gonna also ask, and can you confirm a blue bubble? Now you'll see while we're waiting for her to respond up at the top, your iMessage connection still warming up. They said it could take 48 hours for that to all work itself out because I don't have a phone and a phone number like an iPhone connected to iMessage. So I don't know what all that means. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's been working just fine for me. So I've confirmed this with my brother. I sent him some texts back and forth and he said, you know, blue bubble, but I'm gonna have her confirm right here on camera. But as you can see uh, right here, you can see the messages that I just sent are right there in blue bubbles on iMessage. They're also right here in the beeper app and boom she just responded and you can see right here got it and see the message is a blue bubble uh, and you can see that on the screen recording and you can see it here on the ipad and so it's working exactly as you'd expect now uh i will i'm gonna go and see since we're on camera here i'm gonna send her uh i'll try sending her an image here oh, i don't have any images on here so i'm gonna do a screenshot real quick get a whole screen grab because with, with iMessage, if I send a full screen grab, for instance, from my phone in a text message, it's gonna come up all blurry and funky um, from, from SMS to iMessage. So I'm gonna send this and ask her real quick. Can you send me a high res image 
So we're gonna let her come back on that. And so that'll kind of be the last thing I'll show you here. But the idea being, instead of being stuck with like, I can't send you a photo and because you're an iPhone and I'm an Android, if I send you that photo, it's gonna look crappy. Like Google's worked around this. They've they've created like quick shortcuts for Google Photos to send to iPhone people, but it's they're all crappy workarounds to be honest. And again, I'm not gonna get off on this whole tangent of, well, you know, why Apple should just put RCS and iMessage, but they should, you know, they should make that an option and they, are just they're not going to anytime soon until they're forced to I don't think and so this is a really cool way for um, interacting with people who have iPhones and it being a little bit less janky than than all the other workarounds that we've had to do so you know emoji uh, reactions that we have now and, and RCS messaging we can we can send thumbs up and it'll do stuff and work with the iPhone and somebody sends a thumbs up we don't get a message that says they sent us a thumbs up but that's Google having workarounds in place to make uh, RCS and iMessage kind of work better together. So she replied back, yes, very sharp, so that looks cool. Hopefully she'll send an image here in just a second. But ultimately what this means is on your Chromebook, I mean, because this is the Android app basically of, of Beep where I'm running over here, you could ostensibly go through and you know get rid of all these other apps because I don't mind having WhatsApp going and Discord and I, in my mind like WhatsApp is more like social stuff and Discord is more work type stuff and I kind of have those things siloed but then I can have this open if I need to or if somebody texts me uh, and, and I get the notification on Beeper from an iMessage uh, that's been sent to my phone I can just open that app up on my Chromebook and interact with them there and it's a really cool uh, thing to know that with a couple quick setup steps I mean it's not difficult um, you can have this up and running again once if, if you can get your invite. Hopefully Beeper is gonna have this rolled out soon. Uh, it's gonna be available, you know, once once it is, this is a viable option if you would like to be sending and receiving iMessage uh, messages on your Chromebook. And again, it works. It's very simple to set up. I don't know that it's gonna get any simpler than this, but some of the steps might change, but it's a, it's a working, uh, non-janky way that you can communicate with some of your Apple friends that uh, refuse to send messages in anything other than iMessage. So one final thing before we close up here, uh, she did finally respond with a high-res image. Uh, it's, a, I don't even remember the file type. It's a really strange H-I-E-C or something like that. I had to upload it to Google Photos, but it, you're able to download it once you click in here, click the download button, it downloads. Uh, and I was able to open it up in Google Photos. And while she was sending me the image, uh, I actually saw the, the notification that she was typing while she was responding. So I was excited to see that that works because it wasn't working yesterday. Uh, and that's just part of the modern messaging thing. You know, you want to be able to see when people are typing back. You want to see when they've seen your message and you want them to be able to see when you've seen their message. And so all that stuff seems to be working. Uh, and, and some of the features may show up more as, you know, this, this error about it, you know, warming up goes away for me in the next few days. But overall, it's uh, it's really cool uh, to see the fact that we can use an iMessage client basically on a Chromebook right now. And you know, you use Linux to set it up and you use Android to deliver the application. And it's just neat to see all of it kind of coming together and working pretty well from what I can tell uh, right here on a Chromebook. So if you do have iPhone or iOS toting friends and you'd like to be able to communicate with them a little bit more seamlessly, this is a way to go about doing that. You can get on Beeper's wait list uh, and hopefully the app will just be generally available pretty soon. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button and be sure to click the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time. We'll see you.